what's up guys today i'm explaining you sentiment analysis so let's start first we import panda matplotlib c1 sns matplotlib line plot ly of line spy and import plot ply graph tools express and all now first import this i import this now take the data and read it so we read first five rows it's running now you can see here is the first five rows of data it takes summary which is a review by a customer you simply say sentiment it is given by a customer to a to specific product now we make an histogram of a score a score is here 5142 so now we make an histogram it's running now you can see here is the histogram of a score 5 is you can see 363.122 k reviews is 5 now we import nltk which is a nlp module and we import stop words and word cloud we simply make an word cloud of a stop word you know stop word is a word which is not necessary for a computer and also our data set so we remove it and detect the stop word so we simply make word cloud of stop words now we run this Let's take time now here is the stop word word cloud now we take an uh, score we working with score so we also take a uh, score not equal to 3 because uh, 1 to 5 3 is a midpoint of 1 to 5 we simply take uh, if uh, score is greater than 3 it's 1 uh, otherwise it's minus 1 simply run this and we add an sentiment column to a data set now run this stick time you can see there is the sentiment 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 it's represent the positive and negative review of the customer now we simply fill if a sentiment is equals to equals to 1 so we fill it positive otherwise it's negative now we run this now we make an word cloud of positive sentiment and negative sentiment we simply take any stop words which are not include in our positive statement and sentiment we also take good and great is a also a stop word because good and great is a negative word so we may include in stop words now we make any stop words of positive and negative now we make an uh, histogram of positive and negative sentiment we simply make it now run this sir so here is the histogram of positive and negative reviews now we clean the data by punctuation and remove the punctuation we simply remove a question mark dot semicolon colon exclamation mark and commas now we run this function and remove simply in our summary and text the punctuation now run this cell stick time now we remove the punctuation now we split a data frame we simply split summary and sentiment in our data set which only takes summary and sentiment now run this 
Now you can see sentiment is positive, negative, positive, negative, and here is the summary of the product. Now we simply split the data set for training and testing the model. Now we run this. It's running. Now we count and vectorize. A vectorizer is a simply to vectorize the data to convert a text into an int integer to understand the by converting it into integer and our object. We simply run this and convert our data into integer objects and other, which is simply help to understand machine the data. It's take time. Now we use a logistic regression which is a machine learning algorithm. We simply import a logistic regression. Run this. We make a train test, train test matrix, which our target is a sentiment. We run this now. We simply apply the logistic regression in our data train data. Now we predict our data set, which is a test data. Run this cell now. We find an accuracy using an accuracy and confusion matrix from SKIT. Learn now. Run this. You can see here is the confusion matrix. Now we simply conclude all the things we predicted. Let's take time. You can see here is the all the precision recall F1 score and support. Here is our accuracy of our model, which is a 93%, which is the best score. Now, thank you.